guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how I go about laying this wig with the 360 closure I'm also gonna do a quick review on the hair since I have been getting a lot of questions about it because it is from a fairly new Instagram supplier so if you are interested please continue watching this video if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up so before I get into showing you how um, I laid this wig. I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about the hair. So this is a 24 inch Peruvian body wave. It came in three bundles and a 16 inch 360 closure. The wig was not made. I made the wig myself. I'm just gonna put it out there because I'm very proud of my work. I actually only made it myself because um, I was watching YouTube tutorials on Friday night and I realized that it's so easy to make a wig and I don't like leaving my hair at the salon. If so I just I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna do it myself. So I'm gonna get right into how I lay my wig. The first thing I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna brush my edges and prepare them for the gel. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a wig cap. I got this for about five rand. You can find one almost anywhere. The purpose of this is just to keep your cornrows and your edges all neatly together if ever they snatch off your wig. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Studio Line Invisi Hold Gel. Now this is like a gel slash glue. It works really well for my edges especially because I've got natural hair and it's actually the only gel that works. For styling your edges, you can use a standard toothbrush, I just prefer a smaller one, it just gives me better control. Um, you can also use a spoolie brush, that's also nice to use. I'm just going to go in and add more gel to my hairline because that's where I'm going to be placing my wig while sticking on my wig and you sort of need like a good amount otherwise it will flap over during the day. I'm now ready to put on my wig, that's what it looks like inside. It does have an adjustable strap, thank the heavens. Now you are going to want to put your wig on the gel. As you can see I will be tapping it down to make sure that it is secured. I'm going to go in again with my toothbrush just to make sure that the lace does have enough gel and is stuck down properly. I'm going to also be adding gel in the areas where I feel like I need to. You sort of need to be careful with adding more gel though because the more gel you add, the longer the drying time. So just add enough but not too much. Now I'm just gonna gently brush back all of the hair, making sure that there aren't any hair strands stuck randomly on the gel or on my face. 
because it is going to get a bit hard to move them once they're secured. Now I'm going to use this piece of fabric to lay down my hair. You can use anything. I've once used a long sock, but most people just use dukes. Uh, drying time is about 30 minutes, but I usually have it on for longer because I will do my makeup while I wait for it to dry, which takes me about three hours. I'm joking. <laughs> As you can see, the hair is laid. The lace isn't really moving around much, which is exactly how you want it to be. Now you can go about styling it. You can open a path anywhere you like because it is a 360 closure the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with my tresemme salon finish hairspray i love this because um it's sort of like a holding spray so it does leave your hair straight and sleek the whole day it also adds shine to it which is fantastic Now I'm going to go in with my straightener. The straightener that I'm going to be using is the GHD Saharan Gold Limited Edition straightener. I love this straightener and I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to see why. So um, I've finished straightening and laying my wig and my final thoughts on the hair is that it's actually like pretty good hair. It's probably like my best wig at the moment, I think. I think it's my best wig at the moment and I think the hair is really great. Um, it was really easy to wash. I had no frizz after washing it which was like a very big thing for me and it was very easy to straighten as well despite the fact that I've got a really good straightener this hair is body wave so I expected a bit more frizz but um, as you can see it's like quite straight um, I love the fact that it's light I don't know if that makes sense but um, this is three bundles I fit in all the three bundles in the hair but it still feels very light yet looks really full so I love that the most about it um, I don't know if I said it's soft yet it's very soft and and another important thing for me is that it smells really good um, I don't really like hair that smells that has a heavy human hair smell it really just puts me off and um, I did wash it yes but even when it came I didn't have any problems with the smell um, yeah the company is also really easy to communicate with um, they do courier hair via Aramex they are based in Pretoria I will put all of the information in the description box if you are trying to buy hair from them um yeah what else can I say it's just really good hair I think yeah I really enjoy this hair and I think I'm gonna enjoy it I've worn it like a couple of times already I've washed it as well so um with that being said, I still haven't experienced any problems with it. I really can't complain. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you do like this video and want to see more hair reviews and hair tutorials, and, and, and please let me know. Otherwise, just like the video. And yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.